Before saying a few words, I would like to acknowledge the Lakota Nation of whose land we are standing on today. Uh, sharing a common conscience of compassion and the implementation of cultural morals which advocate for responsibility and climate justice. Uh, we understand that we live in a time of prophecy and also parallel to living in this time of prophecy and the um, the awakening of those prophecies. We live in a time of sickness, both of the mind, of the spirit, and of the earth. And you can see that with, with the mental illnesses, with the depression, and with the separation anxiety disorder, when you have the disconnection from the people to the land, the, uh, the aspiring epidemic, global epidemic of nature deficit disorder. It's a sickness of the land, it's a sickness of the people. And uh, the, the sickness of the people, therefore the oil and, and the mining and the extraction of not the resources of Mother Earth, but the precious gifts, the water and the air that we have been uh, not given, but we are sharing. And, but we also live in a time of prophecy and the, the uh, the seventh generation, the prophetic seventh generation, and the reawakening of, of this generation. And to Continuing on to the time of, of being four and five years old when I was younger. And once I discovered, uh, and once I was awakened, awoken to reality, I went into a stage of grieving and a stage of sadness. Currently, there's a government process between, uh, between our nation and the federal government to degrade and and steal 97.7 percent of our traditional territory and to remove the jurisdictional uh, rights that our nation uh, has to exercise um, our our ability to be caretakers and stewards of the land we are losing a hundred percent of our water rights uh, our our nationhood Currently, the Slyamin Nation is, my nation is in a process of being eroded legally, um, being taken and obliterated out of existence. And when you see this destruction of the land, when you see this destruction of, of your nation and this theft, this corporate and government theft and, and conspiracy to commit genocide against um, a human community, it's not just an issue of, of losing the land, it's not just an issue of losing um, the water, or, or even an issue of losing the nation, it's an issue of feeling like I'm losing my bloodlines, feeling like I'm losing my ancestors, and therefore feeling like I'm losing myself. And I understand that this theft of the land and this uh, blatant act of genocide is a it's an act and a mechanism of colonization that has been used um, with with the uh, with the Black Hills and with other places around the world and other indigenous communities. And I know that if our ancestors could see what is happening today, they would be crying. But I know and I understand that they would realize that there is a time for grieving. There is a time for sadness, but there is also a time for healing. And there is a time, there is a time for, for strength and strong prayers. And there is a time to use our voice that we have been given for a reason. And together, we will speak through the global microphone made of millions, voicing the collective, uh, the collective truth and voicing respect voicing environmental integrity and voicing what we want our future to be and uh, voicing protection of the next generation and uh, keeping in mind the seven generations from now 
So I'm going to be singing uh, a song called Ajumesh Klaas, or in English, Amazing Grace. And this song was um, uh, translated by my kukpa, my grandfather.